Hello and welcome to the Aron Software channel. In this video we'll demonstrate how to set up a new GSM modem channel. We'll also quickly walk through some of the most important settings. A GSM modem is a way to connect to your SMS provider that doesn't require an internet connection. For low to medium volumes they can be very cost effective. With the SMS server it's easy to connect to a GSM modem or to multiple GSM modems simultaneously. To create a new GSM modem channel, open up the Aron SMS server application as we've done here. Inside, navigate to the channel page by clicking on channels in the configuration part of the left tree view. And click on new channel to pop up the new channel selection window. This window shows all of the available channel types. Since we're looking to set up a GSM modem, we'll scroll down to select GSM modem. Now double click to open the GSM modem wizard. The first page of this wizard contains some general settings. The name and description of the channel, whether the channel can send and or receive, as well as the daily limit for this channel. We'll leave all of these settings to their default values. Next are the connection settings. Click on the device list to see which device options are available. This list shows all serial ports as well as all Windows TAPI devices available. Also, there's the option for IPGSM, which we'll use for this video. The IPGSM option means that the GSM device is available through an IP connection rather than a serial port or USB connection. So we'll have to specify a hostname and port to connect to. We'll also have to select a TCP mode. In most cases, choosing RAW will work. If it doesn't work, you can try the Telnet option. Use Telnet with COM controls only if this is required by your IPGSM device or your serial to IP converter. The advanced settings button hides more advanced connection options. The inter-character delays and inter-command delays can sometimes help with older or unreliable GSM modems. The command timeout may be increased if you have a poor connection to your SMS provider. Normally you can leave these settings to their default values. Click on Test Connection to verify that your connection settings are correct. These settings are correct. Click on Next to go to the Device page. The Device page has some additional device settings. First is the phone number of your SIM card. Next you can specify which storage locations the channel should use to retrieve messages and delivery reports. These settings may be different between GSM modem vendors. Normally you can leave these settings on All, Auto Detect and the GSM channel will test all store locations. If you are having trouble with receiving messages or delivery reports, you can try different options here. You can also specify what should happen with large messages. Should they be sent as multipart, truncated to a single part or should they fail to send? The default option sends large messages as multipart messages. With the connection option, you can specify if the connection to the GSM modem should be kept open or be closed after every batch. Setting this to keep open will speed up sending and make receiving messages feel more responsive. However, for a lot of GSM modems, it's more reliable to close and reset the connection after every batch. Click on Next to accept these settings. The Advanced page specifies some more advanced settings. This is where you can enter an init string. This is a string of commands that the GSM channel should run right after opening the GSM connection and before sending any message. This is a good place to have the GSM modem connect to a specific network for instance. Other important options are the wait for the device to register on the network after connect option. This may take a couple of seconds if you have a poor connection to your SMS provider. However, 
Disabling this option may cause the first few messages sent after open to fail. The send interval specifies the minimum amount of time between sending messages. This is useful if your SMS provider has a rate limit. Increase the send timeout if you are sending many large messages or if you have a poor connection to your SMS provider. Click on Next to accept these settings and move on to the Tools page. The Tools page is a way to interact with the GSM device itself. Since this page requires an exclusive connection to the GSM device, it only works while creating the channel or after the channel is disabled. You can click on Check Signal to find out about the quality of the connection to your SMS provider. Our signal is green, so we don't expect any problems to do with the poor connection. You can also click on Connect to open an interactive prompt to your GSM device. This can be useful for sending USSD commands, such as to retrieve your credit balance. You can also select AT to send AT commands to the GSM. For instance, let's ask the PIN status of the SIM in the GSM device. We'll enter the command and click Send. The response is ready. So there's no need to enter a PIN number before sending. Let's click on Disconnect. And click Finish to create the channel. You'll see the channel status turn to green to indicate that the channel is online. We've now set up a new GSM modem channel. This concludes our tutorial on how to set up a GSM modem in the Aron SMS server. Try it for yourself by downloading the trial version from the Aron software website.